Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. My name is Fitz. Welcome to the Minister's Corner. In this video, we are on part two of the highlighting tool on the Logos Bible software application. In this video, we are going to be on an iOS device and we're going to see how the highlighting tool works there. Let's dig on in. I've got the iPad pulled on up. So using your finger, if you have a stylus or an Apple pencil, you can just select your text you want to highlight and you get the quick start menu. I call it quick start menu. Uh, and so at the very top line here, you see all of your last highlighting styles that you have selected. So just like you do on the desktop application. So I'm going to select the blue highlighter there. So now you see Paul is highlighted in blue. Now, the great thing with the mobile device is you now can just select uh, some text. It'll automatically highlight it with the last style that you use. So if I want to just go ahead and select serve it here and just start to drag. And now I'm going to go all the way to Apostle. I'm going to let go. So now it highlights it in blue, which is great if you want to use the same highlighting style. Now, just like on the desktop application, if you want to see all of the other styles, you have to bring up the highlighting tool. So I'm going to select the gospel. Now, here's one other thing I want to also let you know. Here's where I find the desktop more intuitive. So I want to highlight gospel of God. I can't drag and select that, right? You have to just highlight gospel and now using these anchor points, you have to go and select God. And now you can select the whole thing and choose something differently. But if I want to bring up the highlighting tool, you have to hit the ellipsis here, the three dots. Mm -hmm. And then see where it says additional styles, select additional styles. Mm -hmm. And now you've got all of the various options to choose from, right? Which is a whole lot, right? This is all very similar to what you see on the desktop. And so now I can select one of these, hit done. And now that is now highlighted with the, uh, what I just selected. And again, if I just want to use that, I want to repeat that. I just select and just drag. And now I'm using that exact same style. If I select another text here, that one is now front in my particular section. Now, here is another point I want to make as to why I don't use the iOS device for highlighting is that you can't stack, right? You can't use multiple highlights on the same text. So for example, I'm going to use Paul here at the top. So I'm going to select Paul again and hey, I want to stack this. I want to use the um, square around the two, but I want to keep the highlight. But if I select the square, it removes the blue highlighting that I just had. Uh, so uh, which I don't like. Right. So I'm going to select gospel of God here. Let's let's try here. I'm going to select that. And I'm going to go into additional styles. And I'm going to use the green underline because I wanted to keep the box in the yellow, but I also want to use maybe the green underline or maybe an exclamation point. Let's do exclamation point. If I select that, hit done, then it removes the previous highlight. So you can't stack or use multiple styles on the iOS device. Um, unless I'm missing something, but it seems pretty clear here that if you select another style option, it removes the previous one. So hence, I don't use the, the mobile device for highlighting very often. So now if you want to remove a highlight, you want to actually delete it. So I'm going to select Paul here. And now you see that little trash can icon is there. So if I select the trash can icon, it now deletes it. Now, when you have multiple text selected, a little bit more difficult. Well, not difficult, but it's a little bit more involved. So let's say I wanted to remove the blue highlight here. So I'm going to select A. But now you notice the trash can isn't there because you have to drag the anchor points to select the whole highlight. So I'm going to select here, go here, 
Oops, I can get it. And let's say I stop here. Notice I still don't see the trash can. So I got, because you have to be exact. So I'm going to slide this over. Now I'm going to go back over to and make sure I got all of Apostle selected. Now there's the trash can. Now I can delete. Ugh. So <laughs> as you can see, it, it just takes you more time. So same thing with where verse two here. If I select it, you don't see a trash can option here. Now I've got to move the anchor points and you've got, if I stop right here, see I got one letter I don't have selected and you still don't see the trash can option, it's because you have to be exact. Now I can delete it. Lord, this is why I don't use the iPad very often for highlighting text. Now let's go back and add some text here. Uh, highlights. I'm just going to randomly pick some stuff here. Well, I don't want the exclamation point. So let's go and let's do the blue here. And I'm going to drag and select some blue here. I'm going to select here the apart and I'm going to drag here and let's, well, that's already selected. So I'm going to select here. There's more blue here. I'm going to select thorough. I'm going to drag here. It's not pulling up. So and that happens sometimes as well, because sometimes if I tap and hold and drag, notice the shortcut menu didn't pop up. So uh, like I said, it's just not very intuitive. I get frustrated with the iOS device, iOS version of Logos when it comes to highlighting. But let's say like in the desktop application, you want to remove the highlights from your view. You don't want to delete it. You just want to remove it. So let's walk through that process. But again, you have to bring up the visual filters. Now on the iOS version, the visual filters aren't called visual filters. At least there isn't a visual filters menu. So what you have to do is in the upper right corner, the ellipsis, select that. Then you want to go to view settings. Then you want to scroll down and it's the very last one where it says show notes slash highlights. You turn that off and now your highlights go away. And so if you want to go back, you go back to view settings, then you want to scroll back and you turn that back on. Also, notice where you can also change the scrolling a swipe to highlight. Remember, as you swipe, you can hide. You can turn that feature off. So if I turn off swipe to highlight, now if I hold and swipe something, it doesn't highlight it. It just selects it. And so uh, you can definitely turn that feature off. So I'm going to go back. I like having that on. So I'm going to go and turn that back on. Um, that's pretty much the extent of it. Um, that's all I have to really show you for the highlighting on the iOS device. Like I said, I don't use it here often. I use the desktop, uh, more feature rich. It's just more intuitive, more user friendly for me. Uh, I get frustrated oftentimes trying to highlight in the iOS device, but you can do it. You just may have to work a little harder. But anyway, that's all I have for you in this video. This is Fitz. Just wanna say God bless you. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.